that's a what a, do, 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 crypto muscle. Do, 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 do. And the late start to the day this week, Wednesday. Do, 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 do. Man, all I gotta say is the real life crypto muscle. It's a mess right now in real life. Not not like personally, but just in the work life, you know. That's all I gotta say about that. It's just busy, that's all I gotta say. Coming to you with another two video. But that's not gonna stop me from what I do every day. That's all I gotta say. So let's just get to it. I begin the day with crypto news, as I always like to do, as to do crypto news on the daily. Because some of you guys like to be informed on what's going on, the haps and the craps in the space. And I like to provide that info for you on some of the random stuff that's going on, such as. Bitcoin being at 19.5 right now, or a thousand dollar Ethereum, thousand dollars and sixty, a thousand sixty. How about that? <laughs> and so, list goes on and on. It's been going, kind of going down, sideways but down at the same time. So that's where it's at. We're keeping an eye on Cardano, 17 cent predicted price by the legendary Oracle. And you know what else? He also chimed in on Uniswap. All right, I talked about Uniswap the other day. How there was like a phishing attempt that made it look like they got exploited. But the legendary Oracle chimed in and said, well, "Let's look for it. Let me see here. Uh, let's go right here. Let's go right here. Uniswap is based in New York, Brooklyn, New York." Eight people work at the office, and it's only a matter of time before New York or the Fed goes after them. Uni will be the next to fall. Ooh. Ah. Is that going to be the case? You guys let me know if that's going to be the case. But usually, what, what the legendary one says and puts out there, it usually hits spot on. You know? And it's not like these other, you know, guys like the Singh brothers and all that. Because the Singh brothers... It's too easy and too convenient for what they say. I predict it's going to scam. I predict it's going to That's That's easy. I can predict any of these things to scam. That's so easy. But to go pinpoint on something and make a price predict. Every time he talked about price, if you, if you go read his chats, if you are part of his chats, he always puts out a certain price point. Or even in his videos, he says, it puts down a price. Say like Bitcoin is going to hit this price. And he'll just say, no timeline, it's going to hit this price. And boom, he hits it every time. That's all I got to say. You know, if you want to seek some knowledge, you seek it from the legendary Oracle. He, he puts out some good stuff though. If you guys, uh, you know, haven't seen or don't know. Well, now you know. But yeah, oh yeah, I mean, let me finish uh, what I've started here. Let me see here. Where am I at? Um, so yeah, this is what's going on in the market. It's uh, still down 2.5% right now as of Wednesday morning. Uh, I always like to hit on some some quick shit coins like uh, Apollo. I love smashing on that Tiwi loser. 49, I mean, look at this. Shitoshi, all right? All these shit coins, shitoshi. I mean, come on. This is shit coin value. That's why I call it shitoshi, all right? If anyone else says that out there, they got it from me because no one's ever said shitoshi. Look at this, shitoshi. Man, micro bullshit pets. Look at this bullshit. 99% down. Don't bust me up with that, all right? And what else? Last one. Nah, I won't do shit, but let's move on to the uh, next set here. Ugh, 299 growth. Get out of here with that shit. How about Swap Tracker? Probably another new all time low once again. It probably hit all time lows. Look at this. Woo, man. It probably hit all time lows not that long ago. Because it continues to go all time lows all the time. An hour ago. See, just an hour ago. 98% down. That's super cheap, guys. Where's, where's that weasel out there that's going to try to sell you? That's so cheap right now. It's so cheap. And, uh, let's see here. Like I said, growth DeFi. Get out of here with that bullshit, man. Don't bust me up. 
All right, and these losers are going to try to sell you on this bullshit because they're trying to take the name that's already kind of known with hyperverse and hyper whatever bullshit. All right, and they're going to try to sell you on this bullshit because it's a combination of hyperverse, hyper fun, and a combination of power mind. You put the two together, it's hyper mind, guys. Right, with the space bullshit. Get out of here. All right, so um, let's take let's take a look at what's going on in the news. All right, so much bullshit going on in the space, like I, what I see all the time. All right, let's see what else we got here. Playboy to launch the first Meta Mansion. Ooh, in the sandbox. I bet some of you guys like that. Nobody is holding them back. North Korean cyber attack threat arises. It's crazy how poor and third world that country is and so held down by the government. But you never know how deep that government can be. I wouldn't mess with them. Uh, let's see. Capitali capitaliz capitalization ongoing. Oh, capitulation. Sorry. There you go. Ongoing, but Mark is not at the bottom yet. I agree. We're just barely scratching the surface. How can we be at the bottom already? Come on, people. Three key measures suggest Bitcoin and the wider crypto market have further fall. Yes! Come on. I mean, that's that's so easy to say and so easy to just know and see what's going on. You can't say this is the bottom already. Come on, people. If you think this is the bottom right now, then keep buying the bullshit. And that's what you got to do. You, that, when, you, when you buy into that bullshit, it's, like, it's exactly like DCA and DCA is bullshit. All right, it sucks. Come on, dollar cost average, guys. Get out of here with that. Sri Lanka central bank reiterates crypto warning following protest of season president's residence. Ooh, man. And coo coos suck. All right, it, it creates a, a mess. Multicoin. That's all I got to say about coos. All right, I'm not even going any, any further into that. That gets more political. This is not a political talk. Uh, Multicoin Capital raises $430 million for a new crypto startup fund. Uh, let's see. Even with Bitcoin, Ether, and all coins in the bear market, venture funding for blockchain industry continues to grow. That's cool. You know why? Because you're, you're, getting, you're going to get more for what you put in right now at the start. Because, yeah, I know that this is not the bottom, but you do it now versus a, a $60,000 Bitcoin. Right or a five thousand dollar ETH when it's at the high because when when that drops it kills your value already, so it makes sense. Uh, SEC extends window to decide on Arc twenty one share spot Bitcoin ETF to August. Oh yeah, it's gonna get rejected. I mean they 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 like to reject all ETFs, so it's gonna get rejected. All right, uh, I I don't get the government. They can't, they reject like 99% of ETFs and then maybe take a couple of them. They, they were doing that earlier this year and then all of a sudden they start rejecting them all again. So it's like no rhyme or reason. Uh, U.S. Treasury calls for public comment on digital asset policy following Biden's executive order. So this is back in March when he... Uh, directed the Treasury Department to take the lead among other government agencies in developing policy recommendations, you know, the regulation aspects of crypto in the U.S. How about don't do it? <laughs> Let it be. Let it be. It's not It's not Biden that needs to, you know, to worry about. He needs to worry about other shit right now instead of that. So we talked about that. Look at this. Shanghai plans to cultivate $52 billion multiverse industry. You know, we know what's crazy about multi, not multiverse, metaverse. Why did I say multiverse? Uh, you know what's crazy about metaverse is that there could be an infinite amount of metaverses, right? It's 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 who ones create this this uh, I guess you say universe of whatever it is you want it to be, and so that's why. Oof, I don't know. It's just a. Uh, Tough sledding because there's just so many metaverses around. The US ET has fallen from 88.3% of the stable coin market to 452 I think I talked about that the other day. Uh, 
yeah, USDC dominance has grown. Uh, yeah, we, we, we talked about this the other day. Could you look at what it was in 2020? I mean, it was completely dominating, 88%. Oops. And USDC, now it's it's closed the gap. I mean, it's USDC people are going into more, uh, which is pretty interesting. I mean, everything's kind of gone up except USDT. That's gone down. It's lost almost half of what it was. So pretty interesting. Twitter sues Elon Musk over $44 billion acquisition dispute. I can see Elon Musk's argument, but at the same time, I, you, you would have to look at the terms of agreement and things like that, you know, the, the TOS, because, you know, once you kind of submit for a deal, you got to kind of stick to the deal, right? Unless there's something in fine print that allows you an out clause or something, you know, like for some reason. Uh, that's going to be tough. So, uh, but, you know, who am I to say? You know, I'm just giving you my thoughts on that. So, let's see here. This guy says, uh, a typical bull trap just before the CPI. Don't fall into it. U.S. CPI comes at 9.1% higher than expected. And Bitcoin dumps in response to the CPI announcement. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny how I bet a lot of people... When it, when it came in at 9.1 higher than expected, I bet people bought into that. They went, oh, yeah, it's going to be good. And then they got dumped on. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. Uh, let's see here. What is this? I'm completely disappointed with audit chain team. And All right, so something happened over here. The gems hunter here. What is he saying? I'm completely disappointed with the audit team, chain team at Jason Myers NYC. I worked for him for 12 months. Never got paid. I also got scammed by uh, at EX Markets that never released a AUDT from the IEO since 2018. A lot of, uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of crypto jargon bullshit. Uh, whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to just keep it moving here. Uh, let's see what else here. Huge respect for Kramer. Must take courage to be wrong every time and still make bold claims based on no evidence or explanation. Which is pretty funny, though, because uh, Jim, this is not even Jim Cramer's area. He's in the stocks and all that, and he's probably he's pretty good at that. But this is not his area. I think he should just uh, stay away from it, right? Do you guys agree with me on that? Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's keep it going. Let's see. Man, so much stuff to cover. Uh, let's see. Anything else here? Bitcoin to make new all-time highs within 24 months. It's funny how people always say this stuff. Oh, it's going to be $100,000. Remember all that talk about how Bitcoin's going to be $100,000 this year? Come on. You think it's going to be $100,000 this year? So, you know, things like that. Oh, man. But BNB is going to be $1,000, right? Or uh, million tokens going to be $1,000, all this stuff. I mean, it's just, it's funny how people always come up with all this stuff, and they're going to find a, re a, a stupid reasoning, a bullshit reason to say, oh, it, this, is, this is how, this is why, right? They're probably going to come drop some TA and say, hey, see, this, this is how. And, of course, you can't trust TA. So, California regulator investigating crypto interest accounts. The regulator also said in its view that certain crypto interest account providers were providing unregistered securities such as BlockFi and Voyager. Ah, yeah, it's that mess still. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. All right, I covered a lot of the stuff. And it's, uh, let's see anything else. So some initially interpreted the hack as an exploit. So this was just a phishing attack uh, the other day that I mentioned about Uniswap 4.7 million stolen and Uniswap fake token phishing attack. <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, but it was quickly clarified as a result of a phishing campaign. Yeah, and uh, I guess that tweet from CZ of, BN of Binance fell for it, it seemed like. Uh... Helium Network resolves consensus error after four-hour outage. All right, so uh, Bank of Russia opposes private stable coins in the country, and I uh, guess that's about what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap this up. So that's a lot to cover for today. Is Uniswap going to be the next to fall? We're going to find out in the upcoming days. Comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.